Hello guys, Ronnie here and welcome to your 11 C++ tutorial where we are going to look at how to create a more advanced calculator that handles all the operations uh, compared to the one we had looked at earlier uh, that was just, you know, dealing with one operation that was a, uh, the plus operation. Now, um, without me talking too much here, let me just jump straight into what's uh, going on here. So, uh, now we are going to create like uh, four variables. So the first one is a double, and we're going to name it num1. The other one is another double, and we're going to name it num2. Now, why we're we using double is because we can use float, but double has a more memory capacity than a float and uh, the good thing about uh, float it uh, it holds decimal numbers as well as integers so because our we want our calculator to hold uh, decimal numbers as well we're gonna use a double All right now we're gonna we're not gonna use an integer because integer only holds whole numbers so another thing is character. Uh, we're gonna name it uh, Carrick. So we're gonna use the keyword char or car if you want. And then we're gonna create another double, and we're gonna name it result. All right, result. So having done that, we'll go ahead and uh, prompt the user to enter a number, the first number. So see out. Oh. Um, See my mouse pin on the C out. Let's try to be clean here. Enter your first number and uh, press enter. I mean, yeah, press enter to continue. Makes sense. And uh, might as well end that line. And uh, CN num1. All right. So let's copy that. Control C. Control V. Paste. So enter your second number. You know, I'm just trying to avoid and uh, trying to avoid writing this just for the sake of time. You know. Enter your second number and press enter to continue in line. And this is num2. So actually, you know, in between, we usually have in a calculator, we usually enter number, then the operation, then the number again, right? So I'll just go ahead and paste this here and say enter your enter operation, enter operation, enter operation, enter operation, and press. Let me try to be a little bit more uh, user friendly here. Let me say plus negative. Asterisk, just multiplication, and that, and press enter to continue. So so far so good. Uh, this is supposed to be hard to make sure you uh, maintain consistency. So now switch. Now we're gonna say Carrick. Um, switch Carrick. Actually, this is supposed to be Carrick. It's another error that we would have uh, avoided. So switch. Let me scroll down here. So switch Carrick. So now, um, case. Um, plus, and then I put a colon here. Now notice I used a single semi a single quotation marks for this and a semicolon here. This is just a basic rule that switch uh, has to have. I mean, when you're writing a switch, you must uh, use a colon here when uh, having a case or you know if you want to you know like uh, notify. Uh, actually, I don't know how to say this, uh, but if you want to. Uh, Implement or actually, uh, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> but this is a character. So, if you want to 
take note of a character, you just use this single quotation mark, right? That's a more better way of uh, make, putting it out. So case positive and then that result. So in case the person enters that result equals to num1 plus num2. Put that, then see out the result. So let's say see out the result. Uh, result, yeah. And we want to enter this keyword called break. So keyword break ensures that the program stops running once it, the, uh, this one is executed and it's true, right? So case, put single quotation, not double, just single, uh, keep pressing ship. Put that and then put a column, case that. You know what? How would I just copy it and uh, avoid it? Uh, what is the copy? It's usually an edit. Copy. Control V. So number one, just change the size here, and we're all good. So we'll keep on copying here. Just press Control C. All right. Control V to paste. Star. Star. Then the more division. Just put slash and a slash there. So it's just a pretty much common sense here. I should do it. You should do it. I mean, you should be able to do it. I should be, uh, if I can do it. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just common sense there. So let's see if uh, the program is working fine here. Let me just try it out. So it look, looks that we don't have any errors. So let's try something. Let's say six, enter. Enter your operation. Let's say plus, enter a number. Let's say seven, just thirteen. Let's see what, what we get. It's thirteen right there. So <laughs> let's try another operation. Let's say let's say six multiply and I'll actually enter <laughs> multiply and I'll enter multiply by six is thirty six. Awesome. Our calculator is awesome. Say just try one more time. Say eight. Enter divide by enter two, which is four. You get four. So that's how you create a basic. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a basic calculator basically because we don't have more stuff like. Uh, uh, so you get the point basically that uh, you should uh, just try this um, make sure you copy what I did and uh, practice makes perfect that's one thing you should know you just look at this and I think you'll master it like that anyway thank you guys for watching this video uh, make sure you subscribe comment rate and share uh, more, most importantly take note of what I'm showing you here and uh, stay tuned for my next videos right thank you